Uh, hi, YouTube. Today I'm gonna do my my yearly top ten list of twenty fifteen, and these are just the, my favorite top ten games that I did all year long. So, okay, so I have ten of them, and then so I'm gonna count down from ten to one. And then I have um, from ten through six. From ten to six, those are just like uh, throwaway games. But they're not really throwaway games. You put them in any order. Listen, this is just it's like a top five list plus five. So take that as as you will. So um, okay. So number ten. Uh, it's tra Transistor, um, in the PlayStation 4, now, um, Transistor is a game where you play as a girl, and it's all futuristic, and it's a really fun game, you have this sword, and the sword talks to you, it's real fun, and the gameplay is good too, so, check that out on the in the PlayStation system or on PC. And then number nine. Number nine is is Rocket League. Rocket League is uh, soccer cars. That's pretty goofy, right? Sounds pretty goofy, but it's fun. You play soccer with cars and you can crash them. And you do all sorts of stuff. And this is on the PlayStation and PC. Okay. For number 8. We have Batman Arkham City. Arkham Knight. Batman Arkham Knight. And this one is you play as Batman. And you go inside of Arkham Asylum. And you have to stop the Joker. And there's a whole bunch of different Batman villains, and you get to uh, do cool stealth tricks. So you can go behind a guy, and you can knock him out, and no one will know. Just you. So, who's that? Okay, and for seven, there's Unfinished Swan. And Unfinished Swan is... It's a game, and you, you throw paint at a wall... It's not Splatoon, so don't even start going in the comic section and saying how, oh, this is Splatoon. It's not Splatoon. Okay, just Google Unfinished Swan. It's not Splatoon, please. And, and you paint the walls. And you're a little kid, and you paint the walls, and it's real good little story. And it's not Splatoon, so. Okay, for number six. Okay. Number six is Fallout 4. In Fallout 4, you get set in a post-apocalyptic wasteland where everything is nuked and everyone is basically dead except for you. And you go around and, and you can make your own destiny. You can... I'm sorry, I have the allergies, but... But, you know, I bet all the people in Fallout 4 got the allergies, too, you know, all that... All that dust and and stuff going on. So there's Fallout Four, and you can you sh kind of about you shoot. It's a shooting game, basically. Okay, so now those are the top. Those are top ten through six, and you can put those in any order. So Transistor, Rocket League, Batman, Arkham Asylum. Unfinished Swan and Fallout 4. So here's the big heavy hitter. These are the big boys in town. These are the guys you want to tell your mom about. Alright? So. Not not like that. That's not what I meant. I meant like. Tell your mom to buy these for you for Christmas. You know. Not that way. So. This is number 5. Um. It says, it says Bloodborne, so and Bloodborne is a, a fun little game. 
it's really scary, it's a very spooky game, it's not for kids, and it's kind of hard to, and it's about your guy called the Hunter, and Hunter goes around and he, he kills werewolves and stuff. Um, and then there's other things where you get like a sword that can turn into a hammer, or a gun sword. Or a sword that can turn into a whip. That sort of like Trent, like Transformer weapons. Not like Trent, not like the weapons the Transformers have, but it transforms. So that's Bloodborne. It's a pretty spooky game. I liked it. That was good. Okay, four. Number four is uh, it's Tales, Tales of the Borderlands. That's a game by Tell Telltale Games. And they do a real good job of making these sorts of games. I made, I played Walking Dead. And that was real fun, so. There's that one. And it's really funny. There's like, uh. There's like, good cop, bad cop. And, uh. Kind, you know what I mean. And number three. Um. Is which. Uh, which. Grim Fandango. I don't want to say what it is. Grim Fandango. So Grim Fandango is an old game. It came out like back in the 1800s in the P uh, PC. But but it still counts. It still counts, guys. You know why? Because they remastered it. Mm -hmm, that's right. They did. They put it on the PC and the PlayStation system. And you can go home and download it right now off the internet. And onto your your console or PC, and you uh, you play a skeleton. It's not a scary game. It's not scary like Bloodborne, but you play a skeleton and you have to go find the lady, and you have a funny demon sidekick, and it's a pretty fun time. It has a lot of references to old cinema, so if you're if you're a film buff, you, you might like that movie. A lot of Casablanca references and. Real fun time, <sighs> fun characters. So number number two is Witcher two, three. Witcher three, he plays Geralt again, and Geralt's he goes, I'm Geralt. He talks kind of like that, you know. You can, and uh, you play you play Witcher, and he goes around. He has to find his his daughter, who's also a Witcher. He has to, but. But uh, what you're what you're most gonna do in the game is gonna kill a whole bunch of monsters. That's the way it goes, and you're gonna get sweet cash, and you're gonna get cool loot. It's a good RPG. And uh, for the final, this is the number one. This is the the big the big man on campus here. This is Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. He's the big dog, and you know. If you play the game, you will know that there is a dog in the game. His name is his name is D Dog. He's a cool dog. You can uh, you can make him attack people. So yeah, that's a, that's all I need to say about that game. You know I mean? And it's also a shooting game, and you stop the Russians. You got to stop the Russians, okay? So and in that game, it's a it's a it's a sequel. To Metal Gear Solid 3 and Peace Walker and those games that came out a long time ago so the but you should play those two games and then play this one and then after you played this one you should play Metal Gear Solid 1 and then play 2 and then 4 but not th don't play 3 you play 3 first understand and then Peace Walker second and then Metal Gear Solid 5 Third, you play in that order. You play the games because the narr the narrative jumps around a bit, and uh, it's not my it's not my choice. I didn't I'm not I didn't make these games, so I don't. I'm sorry if it's confusing, but you know, go on Wikipedia.com and, and something. So those were my top ten games. Here, I have them written. They're all there. You can see how oh, this list is, this is a hard copy list. I'll be putting this in the archives. 
So thank you for watching and goodbye.